Hi everyone, my name is Anita and this is 5 Minute Travel. Today I'm going to show you a lot of little things and these are all things that I use when I travel. I've been traveling for 35 years across Europe and I've kind of boiled down all of my accessories to a number of things that I use, but I also don't want to have things that are too big and bulky. I have found the smallest, most convenient version of all of the things that I need and that's what I'm going to show you today. So I hope this is helpful when you're planning your trip, when you're trying to decide what to pack, what you need and what you don't need so that you have some good ideas for how to pack really efficiently when you're heading out on a long trip. One of the grim realities of travel is that at some point, you're probably going to need to do some laundry. Now, I go out for a couple of months at a time, usually when I'm traveling. And so at some point, I'm going to have to deal with laundry. What I'll do is every few weeks is I'll schedule a few hours. I'll go into a laundromat and I'll just wash every single thing that I have. But in the meantime, I am going to need to do hand washing. So I don't want to be carrying around liquid detergent. That's very heavy. I won't be able to carry it enough to do hand washing every day anyway. So what I do is this. You might be have seen these before. A lot of you might already be using them to do your laundry at home. And what they are are thin strips of concentrated laundry detergent. And these strips of laundry detergent are designed to be used like this. The middle is perforated. And when you pull them apart, one of these halves is actually plenty to do a full load of laundry in your washing machine. Now, what these have to do with travel is that what I do when I travel now is I take one of these and I will simply cut it into four little pieces. And one of these is more than enough soap to actually wash a pair of underwear, a bra, a bottom, a couple of tops in the sink. These are so lightweight. And if I cut apart plenty of these, I'll have 30, 40, 50 of these in a baggie. They weigh absolutely nothing. And I'm not lugging around heavy liquid detergent. This is a really great trick for doing laundry by hand. Now, besides the washing of the clothes, it's the drying of the clothes that can sometimes be a challenge as well. Sometimes you wash things in the sink and you end up just kind of draping them all over furniture or over shower doors or towel racks or wherever you can find a spot to hang things. Sometimes they even have the little pulleys that come from one wall to the other over a bathtub or a shower. But even hanging things over those, that's not the best thing because you end up with wrinkles down the middle and it just looks funny when you pull your clothes off of those things after they dry. Anyway... I found some things that are kind of funny looking, but they actually are amazing for when it comes to laundry. So here are these little doohickeys that I found, and I've taken these on a couple of trips now, and they've been fantastic. What they are is they're a hanger. These weigh nothing, and they actually unfold like this to a small hanger that you can use for things like underwear or bras, or they also unfold into a much larger hanger where you can hang shirts from. Now, when I first saw these, I was a little skeptical because I thought, mm, they're plastic, they're not gonna be that good. They come with these little clips that you can use uh, to clip things like you know underwear or pants from your hanger like you would if you were drying things air drying things at home. So my first worry was these clips are not going to be strong enough to hold anything um, without it falling off. But you'll see in this next little clip here, I went ahead and I clipped some pants. I usually take linen pants during the summer to Europe. The pants held on. I shook it and the, the little clips held the pants on just fine. And I also put a pair of underwear on the smaller uh, version of the hanger when it's folded up and it really held them quite well. So I'm going to be taking three of these this summer, one for underwear and a bra, one for a pair of pants, one for a top. And when I do my hand washing each day, I can easily just use these hangers, hang it up from a door frame or the top of a shower door bar, or even in a closet for things to dry um, overnight and into the next day. Now, a makeup fit, a bag is a really important thing to have with you, and it has to fit the things that you are bringing along. I don't want one that's too big. I don't want one that's too small. I want one that's going to fit the things that I have just right. And for me, that's this bag right here. This is a little barrel-shaped bag that I found a while ago, and I really like it. Not only is it very cute, because, you know, being cute, that's the most important thing, right? But 
No, it actually is very practical. So if you look here around the outside edges, you will see that there are little pockets for everything that you want to take. Here I've got my makeup brushes, a toothbrush, a razor, some little uh, tubes of things that I want to take. And around the other edge, it has little elastic straps to hold things like bottles. And in the middle, you can put larger things like I've got my big hair clip in here. I have a, a small travel mirror, but it just kind of holds holds everything that you want to take with you. And the nice thing is, is when you're done using it and it's sitting on the counter and you don't want to look at all this stuff anymore, you can just simply fold up the sides like this, grab the two cords and it folds back into itself like that. And it's just this nice little pouch that looks nice sitting there and it fits into your luggage really well. Now, another makeup bag that I like that I'm not taking this summer, but my friend Claudette turned me on to this one, is this bag right here. And it is just this big bag that has an opening in the middle. And you literally, if you're just going on vacation, maybe it's spur of the moment, you don't really care all that much about being super organized, you just throw everything into the bottom of this bag, it opens up, it lays flat on the counter so that you can see everything all at once. And then when you're done, you simply pull the cord, the whole thing folds up into this little pouch, and it just fits anywhere in your luggage really, really easily. You can hang it up from a hook on the wall and it's just a really nice convenient one if you just wanna throw everything into your bag and get out of town. Another thing that's challenging when you travel is this. I have really thick hair and to keep this under control when I'm traveling, is kind of difficult. So I wanna have a really good blow dryer and a really good flat iron that's gonna do a good job for my hair while I'm there so I feel like I'm looking decent when I'm wandering around. So a lot of people say, you know, just take your American appliance, plug it into a converter, it'll be fine. Or it's dual voltage, so just flip it over with a little switch, it'll be fine. Now, one thing I'll say about that is blow dryers and converters are not always the best pairing when it comes to 220 voltage in Europe. Oftentimes, the power needed to power a blow dryer will overwhelm the converter and blow it up, blow up your appliance, and often blow out the power in the building you're staying. So even with dual voltage where you can flip it back so it takes 220, those usually work really well, but often you'll find that the power isn't as good as when you have it at home. So so one of the things that I did a few years ago was this. Our son was at grad school over in the UK for a few years. So I went ahead and on Amazon.uk, I invested in a blow dryer and a flat iron for the UK. And because the UK is on 220, just like the continent, now it works great for me when I go to the continent because all I have to do is get my adapter here that's designed for a UK plug. I plug it in to my appliance and then it's got the C-type plug on it that works um, on the continent. So this is a really good solution for me. It is a bit of an investment, but you can also always just buy these things when you get over to Europe. There are big box stores over there in many countries that are very similar to a Target or a Walmart, and you can buy these things over there and then you can just plug them in with the confidence that they're designed for 220 voltage and they're gonna work very, very well for you. Bringing jewelry on vacation is something that I kind of gave up on doing a while ago because I just could not find a jewelry holder for travel that I liked. They were either too big for the jewelry that I had, they were a funny shape, they didn't fit well in my luggage, but I finally found one that I started using this year that I really like. And it's a little roll-up jewelry case. I started taking it on weekend and business trips and inside it ro rolls up and it has spots for everything. So you can see here on the left hand side there's a little zippered pouch. I use that for my long earrings that I like to wear and I don't want them crushed or snapped in half. There's also hooks at the top for bracelets and necklaces. There is a sliding piece of felt that snaps at the top so you can secure your rings right over that. And then on the far right, there is a place for stud earrings as well, which I find really useful. Now, I put this here so that you could see the size comparison to something that's pretty common, a toilet paper roll, not that glamorous, but it gives you an idea of the size of this thing. So this little pouch is one that I really uh, think works well for me. I don't take a ton of jewelry and it's just right for what I wanna take with me on vacation. So sometimes it is the very, very tiny things that can make a difference in the weight of your bag and the ease of travel. So one of those things that I've found that seems kind of silly to profile, but honestly, I really love them, are these. 
So these are actually toothbrush head holders and they are really clever because you have a little clip here that unclips and it just encases the head of the toothbrush. Now these can hold different sizes of toothbrushes. Obviously, if you have a very thin toothbrush stem, that's no problem. But even if you have something like an electric toothbrush that has a much wider stem, these clip around them with no problem. So honestly, I think these little tiny things are one more thing that'll just make your travel a little bit more simple and a little bit more compact. Another challenge of travel is traveling with liquids. And everybody knows now that if you're doing carry-on luggage, which I personally do, I rarely check bags anymore. When you're doing carry-on luggage, you can't take large bottles of liquid. You're really limited in the size that you can take. So I've started using these little silicone bottles. And what I like about them is they will hold enough shampoo and conditioner for a few different washes of my hair. My hair is really thick again and it takes quite a lot. So I can get three washings in here and my hair can typically go three or four days without being washed again. So that's nice. Now, one of the things you'll find in Europe that's very common is a lot of hotels and even Airbnbs now will have a large dispenser on the wall of the shower that has shampoo, conditioner, body wash in it. So if I'm running low, whenever I get to a place that has those dispensers on the wall, I'll simply refill my little containers so that I have it when I stay in the places that don't have those dispensers on the wall. Now, I love my husband dearly, but sometimes when we're in Europe and we're in a city, we will have different interests in the things that we wanna see. Sometimes he'll wanna go that direction and see something. I'm not interested in it, so I'll go in the opposite direction, see something there, and we'll often just split up for the day and then meet later for dinner. So I often end up eating lunch alone when I'm in Europe, and I don't mind that. I actually like it. It's, it's fun to people watch, and it's fun just to sit and watch the world go by. But sometimes I wanna take a break, and I wanna check my email, or I wanna watch and see how my YouTube channel is doing, or maybe there I just wanna kind of be brainless for a while and watch a video. So when I'm doing that, I will wanna to sit at a cafe table and I'll want to set up my phone. Now, I often want to have my phone set up so that I can see what I'm looking at without holding it in my hand so that I can eat at the same time. Now, I never do this if I'm sitting right next to the sidewalk and people are walking by. In Europe, it's very common for phones sitting on tables to be snatched and the owner of the phone doesn't even know it until they reach for it and it's gone. So I only do this if I'm sitting several rows back in a cafe, not next to the sidewalk where people are walking by. So this is what I found and I've been using this for a while now. This is a little phone holder and I really like it. It has, diff it has different colors, but I chose the pink one because I like pink. And what you do is you take it and you open it up like this and it sits right on the table in front of you. And you can take your phone, this is my phone case because obviously I'm using my phone to record right now. And it sits on this little stand, either landscape mode or portrait mode and you can watch your phone, you can read a book, whatever it is that you wanna do while you're sitting there in a cafe or wherever you are, it's just a handy little phone stand. And when you fold it up, it is so thin that it slides right into a pocket of your bag really well. I don't like carrying around big water bottles in Europe. They're heavy, they're bulky. It, my hands wanna be free. I don't wanna be having to carry one of those things around. And I don't like carrying a big giant bag with all kinds of stuff in it. I'm not on safari, I'm walking around a city. So I found something that solves that problem that I really like. This is a collapsible water bottle. And I think it's kind of genius. So what you do is you take the top off to get the air out of the inside. You unhook the little straps that are around both of the two corners, and then the whole thing just unfolds into a full-sized water bottle. It has a flat bottom, so it will sit down next to you if you wanna set it down momentarily. And then when you're done using it, it just collapses right back down onto itself. You can strap the straps right back down around the two corners, and it's ready to go right into your bag when you're done taking a break, having some water from one of the beautiful fountains that you come across in the cities and villages in Europe. Now this one I like too because it's just the right size to slide into my Manui bag that I use for travel. It goes right into the bottom of my bag. It fits really well, and that way I'm not carrying around a big, giant, bulky bottle, and I have this one whenever I get thirsty and I wanna stop at a fountain to get something to drink. 
Having a non-bulky wallet in Europe, I think is really important. I never take my wallet from home. It's, it's stuffed with too much stuff and it weighs a lot. So the wallet I've been using lately is this one. It's very small, it's quite thin, and it holds exactly what I need and no more. When you open it up on the inside, it has space for a passport to slide right in this slot here. Um, it comes with a little pen. I lost the pen a while ago, um, but anyway, it does come with a pen when it, when it comes to you. It has a slot for quite a few cards right here. What I really like is if you're using uh, physical SIM cards still and you wanna take the SIM card out of your phone, there's two slots here to tuck your SIM card in so that you don't lose that. They're so tiny and so easy to lose. And if you lose the SIM card that came with your phone, you're in just a lot of trouble. So you don't wanna take a chance in losing it. More pockets here, another pocket here, more room back here. I just like this wallet. It's small, it's compact, and it doesn't weigh a lot. The next thing I'm gonna show you is something that a friend of mine turned me on to a while ago, and I will never go with another kind of charging brick ever again. Now, charging bricks are often kind of challenging. They tend to be big and bulky. They have a lot of cables that come with them, but this one kind of solves a lot of those problems. So this is called the TG90 uh, charging brick, and I'm gonna show you why it's so great. This little charging brick has cables that are built into it that have multiple kinds of plugs. So first of all, you've got a plug that's a lightning plug, and that'll fit things like iPhones or other things that plug in with that sort of plug. You also have plugs that are compatible for a Mac. So you can plug in a map, Mac. It also has a plug that's compatible with a lot of things like cameras. And then finally, to charge it, up at the very top, you have a USB cable, a USB plug that'll charge into a plug in order to charge it, or you can also charge laptops or other things that take a USB cable to be charged. So this little thing is quite versatile. I have been able to charge my iPhone two and a half times just on one charge of this device. So if you're walking around a city and you need a good charging brick, this one is quite lightweight. It's very thin. It fits right into the side pocket of whatever bag you're carrying. And I really like it. It's a high quality little thing and it just doesn't weigh all that much. So last but not least, one of the things I really believe in when I go on vacation is that you should have at least one luxury item, something that's unnecessary but just makes you happy to have it. And you probably were wondering today why I was making this video in my pajamas, and that's because my luxury item is what I'm wearing right now. This is a robe from a company called 100 Stars. They are a UK-based company, and they make these beautiful 100% silk robes that are the most lightweight, luxurious things to wear. I have several of them in different different patterns and they are my staple when the weather is good. They roll up into nothing, they weigh nothing, and they take up no space in your luggage. But to put this on at the beginning or the end of the day, for me, it just makes me feel at home, it makes me feel really good when I'm on vacation, and it just makes me happy. So all the things that I've shown you today in the video are linked down below. If you're interested in any of them, you can purchase them down below. I am not sponsored by this company, 100 Stars. I just like their stuff. So I do have a link to them down below as well. So if there's any comments that you have or questions that you have, or maybe there's something that you like to take when you travel that I didn't mention in this video today, and you think that it's an absolute necessity, go ahead and put a comment down below and I'd be happy to respond to you. And I'd love to read some of your suggestions for things that you take when you go on vacation. Have a great day and I will see you next time.